Could this be what Kenjaku's been looking for? Major JJK spoilers. There's a couple of reasons why I think that these two might be the perfect match. We've got to go back to the chapter that introduces this whole conflict in the first place because we see Kenjaku list out the conditions that he would need for a friend. They mustn't bore him and they must be his equal. All this talk about loneliness, friendship, and equality, shouldn't that remind us of something very specific? Our strongest duo, of course, Gojo and Ghetto, the previous owner of the body that Kenjaku is now a part of. But it goes deeper. Let's look back at Kenjaku's overall plan. Of course, we joke about how he wants to just have a good time and see something crazy happen, but also he wants something that he can't control. He wants the chaos that's flickering in the darkness. Not only is Takaba chaotic, but he's also powerful. Powerful enough to even oppose Gojo. And just like Kenjaku seems to be dealing with loneliness, we see that Takaba has dealt with this as well. He wanted someone who could be his partner, who could stand next to him and do duo comedy together. And two comedians, who does that remind us of? Yep, Gojo and Ghetto as Manzai comedians as a duo comedy sketch. Takaba nor Gojo had someone to stand by their side, and they wanted people to understand them. And like I've brought up before, Takaba here reminds me of Gojo and how he wanted to reach out to Sukuna during their fight. So will Takaba be able to reach out to Kenjaku? Will Kenjaku realize that Takaba is someone that he's wanted by his side this whole time? Or will he look down at him and see him just as a worthy opponent who he will easily thwart? 